Hi, welcome to another episode of Walking the Path. And today I've chosen to come to a very remote spot over on the south side of the Isle of Wight in the south of England. I don't even know the name of, uh, of this place. I came here yesterday children, you can see them behind me here in the crab pools, searching, and uh, we've camped here overnight. It's a really beautiful beach. There are springs like this one that trickle down with uh, clear mineral water from the cliffs. You can see it's just uh, um, idyllic, really absolutely no one here. Took some real effort to get here, I must say. And we uh, have some uh, quite unique tents that I got a few years ago. They're called tree tents and you literally suspend the tents from a tree uh, rather than putting them on the ground. It means that you can come to uh, rugged, unusual places such as this and still be able to pitch a tent and sleep in relative comfort. If I uh, turn the camera around, you can just see them behind me, suspended in the trees here. We have uh, two of them, uh, my one, the blue one, and here the girls on the green one. It's such a lovely thing to every so often have an adventure like this and uh, to come somewhere unusual. Uh, we've been cooking breakfast this morning on, on the campfire here. And of course the children love it. I haven't seen them for three months because of the lockdown situation and I chose to go and live with my mother to help shield her from the worst conditions of the coronavirus and now things have eased a little. I've moved into a new apartment and it means I've been able to see my children for the first time in three months. And they wanted to come camping more than anything else. It is an adventure. It took some effort and even with the children at one point yesterday they were feeling a little bit tired and, and fearful because we are camping right at the edge of the, uh, the sea cliff here. It comes all the way in and it needed all three of us to summon up a bit of warrior spirit to face the situation and of course uh, this morning all three of us are incredibly grateful that we have and just such a fantastic thing to sit here together have some breakfast on the open fire and, and for them to go explore the rock pools. It's situations like this, times like this, that make such amazing memories that last throughout a lifetime. I only do this once a year with them, but every year we talk about the last year that we went camping and how meaningful it was. And I've learned over many years that it's important to call forward the courage and confidence, the warrior spirit, to help yourself do the things that you would perhaps otherwise shy away from. For me, that has been stepping forward to go up on stage and speak in front of thousands of people when I haven't always been feeling confident. Or to gather the camping stuff and to come somewhere like this, which requires a bit of effort and risk. And in recent times, it's been as simple as gathering the courage and confidence to go to the supermarket the huge fear that's been circulating within the population around uh, the coronavirus and the risk of infection. 
on June the 11th, I'll be starting a new program where I'll be sharing all that I've learned about summoning that warrior spirit, finding your warrior within, and invoking it to help you live your best life, to create your best memories, and to step forward and face the fear, sometimes in an unusual adventure situation like this, sometimes just in everyday life. I hope you'll join me June the 11th for the start of my new program, Warrior Within, where I'll be guiding everyone through all four of my mapping systems, goal mapping, life mapping, action mapping and self mapping over a seven week period special exercises and interaction with the other delegates to help everyone find their warrior spirit, bring it forward and live their best life. I hope you'll join me. I look forward to being with those that have already booked. Stay well, stay safe. Bye for now.